Hello everyone, in this video we are going to have a lot of different stories and a lot of different news stories. Keep a critical mind as always. I will always try to put all the evidence and proof out there. If there isn't enough, then also you can search for yourself, but I will try to keep all those things out there for you guys. And as always, keep a critical mind and I hope you enjoy. The company has had a pretty big fall right now recently. As you can see, it went up to 6,000 around, you know, 2022 or so. It's had its little ups and downs, ups and downs. Had a little bit of a peak due to the buyback and it's going back. So that's what's happening. It's, it's like it had its peak with the buybacks. It had moments like that where it just goes up and down like any stock. Right now it's at 2209 as of the time the person took this uh, screenshot. Of course, I could take the screenshot at the lowest point of the whole day and it may have jumped above that. But um, it happens a lot and then it spikes back up. It's the way the stock market works. It's not one of those things that if you hate them, they're going to go down. But I really wish they would go lower and lower and lower so that they would actually like have that push from behind them to fix the issues that they have. But as of now, they are having that lowness. Hard to say, probably not, especially since the Japanese market is already so saturated. They completely effed it in the Western market as, as like recovery. So the only place they can really grow is the Southeast Asia market. Considering they've already merged those branches, I don't see them growing much there either. As a Latin American, I hope they don't open an ES branch. There's not enough people, unfortunately, in that branch to uh, warrant an opening of it from a large agency. You can have maybe one or two as a part of maybe your EN branch to kind of, you know, test the waters or part of your just mainly the Sanji branch to test the waters as a lot of agencies do. And then maybe if it gets to that point, you can do that. Good luck with the Southeast Asia branch. Indonesia will not support an ADC because they dropped, you know, dropped Indonesia. Graph above doesn't really tell anything though. If you want a better comparison, you have here, which is uh, Cover Corp is blue. Cover Corp is doing a little bit better in their yields and the percentages of up and down. Um, but this is just percentages. This isn't necessarily saying that the prices are higher. It's just percentage growth and drop. As you can see, the uh, Cover Corp is lower than Nidhi Sanji, but they had a gain of 231 yen versus a drop of 1,000 yen in the same period. So that is that is a big drop for anybody. That's like that's almost 10 bucks. That's like maybe eight, nine bucks loss, which is a lot for any any agency in anything. So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of that, a little bit of that idea, a little bit of the information. So a little bit of a meme, as you guys know, I do love showing you guys the memes. I love showing you guys all this kind of stuff, you know, having some fun because I mean, what is life if we don't have some fun? It's all messed up. So it says, uh, we have our own Doki face, hollow life. Shiori's, <laughs> Shiori's face. <laughs> That's straight up like Doki's face. Straight up like Doki's face. If you forgot the Doki face we're talking about, this is the Doki face we're talking about. This is what happened when she was playing Apex Legends. She was playing third wheel to some weird like friends that asked a friend out and then they got denied, they got rejected, all that kind of stuff. So here we go. <laughs> That's Shiori right there, Shiori Novella of Advent. And uh, Doki, yeah, it's pretty much, it's pretty darn similar. Pretty darn similar. There we go. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of laughter there. And people are saying, Shiori, are you seeing this S Doki? Doki, unfortunately I do, Shiori. Nice of the Hot Life community to acknowledge Doki. <laughs> exactly. Well, they know, they know who Doki is because of all the stuff that happened. It, it, anyone who's in the Hot Life community is also involved in the VTuber community and they can see everything that's happened. So a little bit of, of levity for everybody. Yumino Lilith, who was graduated from Nori Pro three years ago, has um, come back into the zeitgeist of people. Uh, started 2022. Uh, Yumino Lilith was graduated, terminated, whatever you want to call it. Suspicion, allegation of illegal activities, severe breach of contract, false declarations, and violations of NDA. The violation of NDA is enough to get you graduated, to get you terminated, but uh, the possible illegal activities uh, makes everything much, much worse. A uh, situation has, it's had since Nori Pro's talents are all within a few degrees of separation from Norio Sensei. Before Nori Pro Gen 1, this person is saying that some of them were friends, some of them just knew each other, that type of thing. And also wouldn't be surprised because of her termination, she went back to her indie alias Saya Magu. It seems the people she follows are Gutara, Yuzuki Choko, Miki Neko, uh, formerly Uru Harushia, and Rika, formerly Mudor Saramel, on her ex account. So it may seem that some mutual relationships with each other. Our topic, we're probably not going to get this information, but I want to know what happened to um, Chito Mimonoe. I already know that, but you know, it's like it's not anybody's PLs. Be very wrong here, but if I remember correctly, it was something to do with her not actually being able to stream. So this was the Voms Monster Project. Uh, she probably wasn't able to stream, uh, going into other VTubers and stuff like that. Uh, it was worse than any other VTubers' termination, so it's not surprising that people are leaving her. Most common reasons for termination are breach of confidentiality, but she had possible violation of law. So that makes it much, much harder. And I do hope that she's doing well. No matter what happened, I do hope that she's doing well. This is her full style. Um, and I hope that she was able to get past all that 
and clear things up. Here we have Fuamoko, who is um, saying bow, bow, bow. I had a great time with Patro and Esan. Fuamoko hard work and ASMR somehow made Kamimi Chan feel really energetic. I'm sure Ruffian's ears are fluffy and soft too. We're happy to make you feel fluffy. There you go. They had their Patra time. And it says, it was a day when many Fuamoko dreams came true. Today, thank you, Patra Onechan. Thank you to all the staff too. I want to learn more about ASMR from Patra Onechan. Fuamoko will keep going strong. So they had their full 3D. A full 3D moment with Patra. Patra is, of course, a, uh, a VTuber who is, re well, does a lot of ASMR. They know a lot about ASMR and they have worked their butts off. Every single one of them has worked their butts off to get this. And of course, this is the thing you like to see. Uh, the hug, it looks like hover hands, but that's because of the way that the, uh, the mocap works. It doesn't necessarily hit exactly. It has like a little bit of degree of separation sometimes with the mocap. So there's Patra, Mokoko, Fuawa, both on this exact size that they're supposed to be on there and having lots of fun. And they have now an ASMR thing that you guys can go and listen to. And for all those who are wondering, what the heck? Why didn't he show the uh, the actual things that they did? Why, don't, why doesn't he show the actual live? Well, here you are. You got what you wanted. I'm showing the actual live. Pieces of it, of course. So that's what it was. It was an ear. A disembodied ear. How does the ear feel? Let's see. She sounds so nervous, so cute. Okay, that's what I wanted to show you guys. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of that uh, because I didn't want you guys to be without a little bit of the actual ASMR that they had on that stream. Bow Bow, of course, Bow Bow. Capcom Amuse is having a collaboration with Hololive. This is only in Japan, of course, unfortunately, but I do like covering things like this because it's always good to see the success of the livers, the VTubers, the people behind them in each company, whatever company they may be a part of. In this case, it's, it's Hololive, and it's the second installment of a collaboration with Hololive Gamers. Limited prizes with matching idol costumes will be available. The release date is 10:25 on Friday, and here you go. This is their little um, intro. It is Fubuki, Mio, Okayu, and Korone. Looking very cute with that black veil, that black dress. Looks very, very cute. Very well made. And of course, you have the different types of merch you can buy from them. Different types of things that pop out there. Uh, some wall scrolls too, which is very nice. I think that's what they're called, wall scrolls. Uh, posters or whatever it was, uh, posters as well. Other things are going to be popping out there. Here is the actual locations where it's going to be at. The look of each of the crane games. And of course, the billboards that are out there to let you know where it's going to be. It says, uh, to commemorate the collaboration, we'll be creating a special decoration exclusive to the Ikebukuro store. Limited time offer. So please take advantage of this opportunity to visit Ikebukuro Hit Vision in front of East Exit of J JR Ikebukuro Station. And of course, you have it right there. And of course, the cuteness is shown on display here. Big, nice display of all of them. Their cat, the cats that are with them too. And right here, you have a little ghost cat, or at least, you know, it looks like it. Uh, who would you like to go hunting with? Please select from the buttons below and submit your entry. For more information on prizes, please click here. And that, you know, it has each and every one of them. Fubuki, Mio, Okayu, and of course, Korone. And all of them looking extremely cute. Continuing on here with actual, um, they have to put sample here. I wish they, they people with the whole um, AI thing that's happening with, with Twitter, they're going to have to put sample or some other kind of thing more often here. So that doesn't get trained on that kind of stuff. It says Shirakami Fubuki. Ex Gino Neko equipped Idol. The Idol's equipment was chosen by the individual. So in this case, like Fubuki chose it. Uh, for details in the stores, etc., please click here, uh, down there in the amusement stores. Uh, the parts that are going to be there are right here. The collaboration starts on Friday, of course, and it has all the life size panels and collaboration illustrations will be on display at Capcom amusement stores. Which stores are there? There's Plaza Capcom stores where, where, Corona is going to be at certain places. Mio is going to be at certain places. Uh, Okayo is going to be at certain places as marked there. Plaza Capcom Fujitsu, Plaza Capcom Ikebukuro, 
all those places. The Plaza Capcom stores are, are big ones. Asobi uh, Library Ka Kawaguchi is also one of them. Uh, Shitoro, Miten Fuchu, all these places you have here. Of course, unfortunately, with the uh, fidelity that they originally had, uh, when I had it translated, the fidelity just got worse. We, we we lost a lot of pixels, my friends. Unfortunately, we lost the pixels, but they're, they're still there somewhere. I don't know if you can find them, but they're still there somewhere. And here is the original. And for some reason, it got to this. I don't know how it went from this to this, but that's what happened when I translated it. I'm very sorry about that. And here is Suisse as an update as well, like I mentioned. Uh, continuing the update and, and actually updating you guys with everything. Suisse talking about the whole situation with JAXA, BBDBA, everything that popped out. And let's see. いや、バズって欲しいなとは思ってさ、作った楽曲ではあるが、本当にバズった。しかもこんなにバズると思わなかった。驚きだよ。ビビでバハやりすぎてて、この前お姉ちゃんがなんかさ、ちょっと出かけ
and very, very happy that she was able to get responses because a lot of times you get ignored. Very glad that she was able to get the responses that she needed. She wanted to be able to create this. And of course, she said, uh, this is her, of course, right here. She says, schedule with all the times will be released later this week, but Irma messed up. It'll be five hours total, not six. And that's fine. No one's going to be like, oh my God, you said six hours. I want my hour back. No, people are just going to be, they're going to be happy that they can hear their Oshis or find new Oshis that can sing and do that for them. So that is great to see. And I always like pushing these things because it's always wonderful to see these things. Starting today, join the Pixel Link talents in 10 days of Halloween themed live streams and events. Production Kawaii did this recently and now Pixel Link is getting involved as well, which is great. Uh, Pixel Link group cover song, daily event streams, digital fan meet and greets, Raki Chio Daya break for everybody. It's going to be uh, a birthday. Kana, uh, see, it's going to be Raki's birthday. Kana, Raki, Daya, Chiaki, Arisu, big announcement. Chiaki, Miuna, Arisu, Ladi, and then karaoke meet and greet and more on the 31st. You can see the dates here. I made it bigger so you guys can see it a little bit better. And you guys can, uh, you know, go through everything and choose which Oshi you're going to see. Pixel Halloween, can't wait for you to hear the group cover and have lots of fun with us for this Halloween. Yay, can't wait for the Halloween stuff we're going to do. Chio Chompy's involved. Happy Pixelween. Can't wait. So yeah, there we go. So a lot of fun things. I love when agencies do this because it gives the talents something new to do, something different to do, a special moment uh, for them and their communities, if you know what I mean. Good news from Sayu. Sayu is having a Halloween outfit reveal Friday, October 25th at 8 p.m. ET. This is the trailer or the teaser of it. Have tricks and treats. Surprise that Sayu doesn't even know. On giveaway for the synchro nights new merch of course and other things other little things october 25th on uh 8 pdt only on twitch in this case and here she has it twitch only when friday october 25th 8 p.m pdt we have tricks and treats coming up this friday apparently there's a trick for me but i can't be tricked i'm the evil and scary one my new look will reflect this better than ever say we eating good right now hype 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 that's effing go i am so there what time is that in japan time hype so there so of course you can see lonely in japan secret in the city yeah i think she's still in japan she hasn't changed this so i think she's still in japan she's been doing a lot to try to you know bring more hype to her channel and bring more people to the channel i always am glad to report on any sayu news because she deserves as much support as possible big happy birthday to chia chasm uh or chasm whichever uh which is formerly nara of nidi sanji id and somehow i exist and here is Chia Chasm, Chia. I'm on VGen, which is already uh, VGen Chia Chasm, content creator on YouTube, sing, draw, and play games. And of course, that is their announcement of their birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday, Chia, one of my favorite XID members. She got a nice singing voice and really chill girl, chill girl overall. And here you go. It says, Happy birthday, Chia. May your health prosper and all the good things come to you soon. And happy birthday, Chia. Wishing you a wonderful year. Happy birthday, Chia. And a nice little drawing of them, of course. Salamat, happy birthday. A lot of Krabby Monday's birthday song. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Everyone was just congratulating them for happy birthday. This one um, has gotten about 6,000 views, which is very good. I mean, just compared to the things that I get, <laughs> it's very good. And I'm very glad that they seem to be happy. And they seem to be enjoying themselves and have a wonderful community behind them. A wonderful group of people who are following them and giving them much love, which they deserve. Welcome back, everybody, to the VTuber Showcase, the place where I like to showcase up-and-coming VTubers, VTubers of all sizes, all those who deserve to have a little bit of extra vision, extra eyes put on them, and, of course, paying it forward, bringing the community together, making the community a much better place than where I left it, of course, because I've been getting a lot of help, too, from the community. We have Sachi, a live 2D and artist. So they are a person that does streaming and art involved, and you can see their model here. We're going to take a look at their bot section. Dreamy sheep who likes to draw, game, and making models. I'm very shy and 100% say so, I swear. Icon Aurora VT was the one who did the icon. And this is Sachiko Hitsuji. And here you go, Sachi's their intro there. And let's take a look at something that they've done recently. No breast milk in the fridge. I don't even have breast milk. 
Wait. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Yep, yep. She just said. She just said what she said. She absolutely just said what she said. And that's that's part of the wonderful uh, nature of just randomness. I try to be ran. I try to you know have those moments too. That just happen. That just randomly happen. They don't happen as much as other people on my on my streams, but they happen occasionally. And here we have them as well on their YouTube channel. As you know, if they have a YouTube channel, I will put it out there. I will show it to you to show you the full breadth of what they have. Thank you once more, Hitsujiyama uh, Sai Chachiko, for being a part of this uh vtuber showcase and for allowing me to showcase you on my channel i do hope this helps you grow or at the very least get some more eyes on your content thank you so much for watching that is all the news that we have for today please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here which i will try my best to respond to i love seeing your comments down below of course as well like and subscribe to the channel uh, that will give you more information every single day. I do two videos a day, so hopefully you enjoy.